Hello and welcome to our VectorVest strategy presentation titled A Must Watch List. My name is Brian D'Amico, Manager of Educational Services here at VectorVest, and it's my pleasure to present the strategy to you today. One of the reasons investors come to us is because they have a problem. One of the biggest problems people tell us about it is that they struggle. They're just struggling in the stock market. Well, what are they struggling with? They struggle determining which stocks to buy. They end up jumping from idea to idea without really sticking with one that works. And once they do find a stock and they buy it, they don't know when to sell it. They either sell it too soon and miss gains, or most of the time they hold on to it too long and incur larger losses. In the end, the entire process just takes too much time for them, which typically leads to burnout. And they either give up voluntarily or they just run out of money. So if those are the frustrations, let's talk about what you really want. You want a system which helps you to easily find stocks. And then once you find your stocks, you want a specific exit plan. You want to stop making trades based on emotion and really have a system that works which tells you when to sell a stock. And you also want to get it done quickly. You don't want to spend hours a week managing your portfolio. I know I've got two little children at home and I love to play with them. So I want my trading system to take as little time as possible so I have more time with them. In the end, you want a system that will generate steady, consistent returns over time. Tonight, we're going to look at three core techniques to get it done. First, we're going to find stocks using a brand new watch list in VectorVest called Midas Touch. I'll show you three different ways to use it effectively. It's pretty awesome and you'll see why in just a minute. Second, we'll set rules which tell us when to sell individual positions so we no longer have to play a guessing game. And third, we're going to build in a last line of defense. I'll introduce a new technique to use as a signal to exit the market. So let's get into VectorVest and do it. Over the last couple of months, we have focused on teaching you a technique called the Midas Touch to help cherry pick the stocks to buy. The technique involved accessing a list of stocks, such as the stock viewer, as you can see right here. And once you have your list of stocks, as we have here, you would simply graph them. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to graph them all. And then once you graph all the stocks, you simply would have just changed the graph layout to Midas Touch. And we're going to switch it to three months. And the basic technique had you look for stocks that had this line, this line, and this line all hitting three month highs. These two lines up here are moving averages of our stop price, so a 10 and a 65 day moving average. And this line down here is a 40 day moving average of relative timing, which is our short term trend indicator. And if all three of those lines were hitting new highs, it was a candidate to buy. The only real drawback was that it required you to go through graph after graph looking for candidates. And as you can see here, the very first stock in that list doesn't meet the criteria. While if I go to the next one, this one does. Go to the one after that, it does. The next one does. This one does. So does this one. But this one does not, and this one does not. As our founder, Dr. Gelito says, this is just a potluck procedure. Well, it just got a whole lot easier we've created a brand new watch list called Midas Touch Stocks and we've placed it in a cherry picking folder so let me show you that let's close this graph so instead of coming to the stock viewer you'll see a new folder in your program called cherry picking and if you open that you'll see a watch list called Midas Touch Stocks every single one of these stocks meets the Midas Touch cherry picking criteria here you can see today that we've got 689 stocks out of the 8,000 stocks that we track that meet the Midas Touch cherry picking criteria. There's no luck of the draw here. Check this out. Let me graph these. I'm just going to come over here. Let's graph all these. And I'm going to move this down to three months. And look at this. A winner. Winner. Met the criteria. Again, 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 again. I mean, you get the idea every single one of these stocks meets the Midas Touch cherry picking technique. So by creating this watch list called Midas Touch Stocks, that has immediately 
and drastically reduced your research time. So one great way to use this watch list is just to come in here, since it is sorted by our master indicator VST, which combines value, safety, and timing, and just go through the top of the list. And I promised you I was going to show you two other ways. So watch what else you can do with this watch list. Let's say that you had a favorite search in Unisearch. And that search looked for stocks that met the criteria that matched your investment style. So let's go over to Unisearch and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to come up here and click on Unisearch. So here in Unisearch, let's say I'm a prudent investor. And I would come over to the left hand side and I'd open up the prudent folder. And inside the prudent folder, let's say I liked the prudent search. I might like that search because it's already screening the stocks to make sure that they have an RV greater than or equal to one and an RS greater than or equal to one. Now let's say that you want to make sure that all of the stocks that get returned by this search also meet the Midas touch cherry picking criteria. Watch what you can do. So I'm going to come into my favorite search and then in the empty row at the bottom I'm going to click in here in the parameter column go to stocks, go to filter by, and choose watch list. And then in the operator column, I'm going to click in there and choose equal to. And then in the value column, I'm going to come over to this cherry picking folder and open that up and I'm going to select the Midas Touch Stocks watch list and then hit OK. So now by running this search, it finds all the stocks that meet my prudent criteria. In addition to that, all of the stocks meet the Midas Touch cherry picking criteria. So once again, if I came up here and I hit graph all these stocks and I switched it down to three months, once again, you're going to notice stock after stock after stock after stock meets the criteria. I don't know about you, but how awesome is that? <laughs> So I'm going to close this. So now that's two great ways to use this Midas Touch watch list. The third way also involves using a search, but we're going to choose a specific search. So which search are we going to use? Well, let me give you an example. I'm going to come up to the Vectris Views tab, and I'm going to go back to February 14th. Because on February 14th, not only did we have a confirmed up, but that was also a day where we had a GLB RT kicker up signal. So I'm going to click on that day. So I think we can agree that that would have been a good day to buy stocks. So I'm going to select February 14th. And here in the Vectress Views, if I scroll down, we have a section in there every single night where we list the top searches in our system that had the best performance over the past day and over the past five days. So in this list, I'm going to come to the five day derby winners. And in the list, the first one in the list is called Ballistic New Highs. So out of all the searches in the system, that one had the best performance over the past five days. So imagine now taking that search and making sure that all the stocks returned by that search also meet the Midas Touch criteria. So let's do that. Let's go back to Unisearch, change the date to February 14th, hit OK, and if you don't know where a search is, I would just recommend hitting A to Z and it'll sort it alphabetically for you. And I'm going to go down through this list, hit no to save that search, and there it is, ballistic new highs. And I'm just going to do what I did before. I'm going to come in here and go to stocks, filter by, watch list, equal to, and choose the cherry picking search or excuse me, that's the, the Midas Touch cherry picking watch list. Now in case you were wondering, how am I able to go back to February 14th and do this testing? Well, that's another cool thing about this watch list that we just built. We've built in about five years worth of historical data. So if you go back in time and you look at that watch list on a, any date since January 2nd, 2009, it's going to show you the stocks as of that day that met the Midas Touch cherry picking criteria. So here I'm going to go to February 14th and when I run this search it's going to find the stocks that not only met the Ballistic New Highs criteria but also met the Midas Touch cherry picking criteria. 
And this is the exact example that Dr. Delito is using in his essay tonight. Now, if you remember back at the beginning, I promised you that we're going to look for three things. Number one was to give you a way to easily find stocks. And we covered that so far. I showed you three different ways that you could do it, either just using the watch list or building that watch list into a search in a couple of different ways. Now we're going to want to have a method to sell an individual position and then we're going to talk about a method to sell all of our stocks or basically exit the market. So let's talk about how we could sell individual positions. And remember, we want a method that's not going to take a lot of time to manage. So now let's say that you bought the top 10 stocks. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to graph. Let's just graph the top 10. Let me shrink this left hand side. Come over here and do graph top 10. And shrink this down to a few months. All right, so we bought this February 14th, which would have been right there. Dr. Delito described a way to sell individual positions, which is to use a five day moving average crossing below this 40 day. So what we've done for you is when you come to this graph layout and you select Midas touch, so I'm going to click on Midas touch and that's what we're looking at here. Over on the right hand side, you can see there's a selection for the five day moving average of RT. Just click on that. So let's say you purchase this stock on this day, February 14th. And let's just move forward day by day. Your exit criteria would be if this five day crosses below the 40 day, takes the emotion right out of it, protects you from further losses, and lets you move on to another trade. So let's check another one. If we go to the next stock, OPTT. All right, so here's an example where we would have gotten it into this position on the 14th and then the five day moving average didn't cross below until March 21st and then if we look at the next one you can see that five day didn't cross below until March 26th so you've got a very systematic approach to selling individual positions and this approach you can do in five minutes a night and one of the things Dr. Delito stresses in his essay tonight is that these stocks that meet the Midas Touch cherry picking method are high momentum stocks. They go up fast and they can come down fast. So you do have to watch them and take your profits when the taking is good. So spend the five minutes a night to manage these positions. So now we've looked at a method to sell individual positions, but there's going to come a time when you might need to sell all the positions in the portfolio. Let me show you something that Dr. Delito is introducing for the first time. So to do that, I'm going to close out of this graph and let's open the market timing graph. So I'm going to come to the market timing graph and what he did is he switched it over to the GLB RT kicker layout, which by default uses a 10 and 15 day moving average on RT. Now let's shrink this down to three months so you can see it a little bit more clearly. He's found that a great early exit signal for an entire portfolio is to actually look at the five day moving average of RT crossing below the 10 day moving average of RT. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna uncheck the 15 and check the five. So let's take a look at what's going on here. We would have gotten in on the 14th and then actually the five day crossed below the 10 over here on March 12th. So on that day, that would have been an indication to just get rid of any existing positions in that portfolio. Let's take a look at how much of a difference this could make. So let's go back to the Unisearch. And in Dr. Delito's essay tonight, he describes this to us. He describes running the search on the 14th of February. So once again, I'll just hit run search just so you can see. And then what he did is he just quick tested the top 10. Now these are the results from February 14th until now, March 28th. And he says, wow, man, look at how much these have gone down. He actually said, ugh, these stocks got hammered. And then to quote Dr. Delito, he says, but that's crazy. Why would I still be holding these stocks? He then says in his essay on February 14th, he said, I also like to add the stock prices to the graph for more information 
He reviews his positions every day, and he's learned to take profits when the taken is good. So there's something else that he adds to the graph. The first thing he does is he looks at that five-day moving average crossing below the 40-day moving average of RT. So that was a great way to manage individual positions. However, he then added this market timing aspect. So let's say instead of holding it until today, you actually got rid of these stocks on March 12th and hit OK and rerun it. Huge difference, right? By getting rid of these stocks when the five day moving average of RT on the market crossed below the 10 day, you're now looking at a 16% gain. So let's recap some of the things that we talked about tonight. So let me close this quick list or quick test. And let's take a look at the things that we covered today. The first thing we did was we took a look at the new watch list called the Midas Touch Stocks. And I showed you three different ways that you could use that watch list. First, you could just use it all by itself. Second, you could add a filter to your favorite search. Third, you could add a filter to a top derby search. The second thing that we talked about was using rules to sell individual positions. And what we did was we looked for the five day moving average of RT crossing below the 40 day as a way to exit individual positions. And I introduced a brand new system for exiting the market. And that was when the five day moving average of RT on our market timing graph crossed below the 10 day moving average of RT. And I want to recap the main lesson that Dr. Delito wanted you to understand. He says that the main lesson here is that stocks in the Midas Touch watch list are high momentum stocks. They go up fast and they can come down fast. So you have to watch them and take your profits when the taking is good. Don't worry about getting out of a winner too soon. There's plenty more where that came from. And you're going to find them in that Midas Touch watch list. And that's why we say it's a must watch list. I hope you all enjoyed the strategy of the week tonight. And we look forward to having you back again next week at the Vectorvest University. Have a great night, everyone.